It's bigger. It's better. It's the only debate platform that gives high school students the opportunity to air out their views in Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Great Debaters Contest. I'm your host, Chris Boru. And I am Esperantia Kapanga. The motion of the day today is free secondary education is a myth that cannot be achieved. Proposing this motion, we have Kimani Gujiri High School. And opposing the motion, we have Anesta Premier High School. Who will sway the judges? Let's wait and see. Proposer number one, you have three minutes. I first I apologize for the prolonged delay. Since 2008, the appointment that you tried to pick with me, but now I'm here. I know it's a hard time for you people because you are under the myth that you are being lied on. Edu free education, free secondary education is a myth that cannot be achieved. I am Stephen Minor from Kimani Gonjiri High School, strongly proposing to motion the states free secondary education is a myth that cannot be achieved. I first and foremost start by defining the motion. What is free? It means paying totally nothing. And do we do that in our schools? No, we don't do that. What is achieved? We can easily say, maybe to realize. Yes, and what is, a, what is a myth? A myth is a widely held, and I repeat, it's a widely held, but not true, belief or idea. And to my first point, oh, before I forget, Judge Minor, I received your letter so many times, and I hope you understand the reason. I knew it was all based on free secondary education, and I'll, just like you, I thought it would come true. Yes, and to my first point, county government are still on their, or are still on their developing projects. For instance, let me tell you something. In, the, in our county's government, we cannot, and let me tell you, we cannot, I simply repeat, we cannot offer free secondary education because we have to do with some development of our project. Yes, we are country down. And the money collected by KRA is not enough. And I repeat again, it is not enough to sustain free secondary education and then, and yet, an economic system. Kenya, being regarded as a third world country, we are still in the effect, recovering from the effect of the colonial rule. Let me quote, 21st September 2016 from the Daily Nation, South Africa, more richer than Kenya, has not been able to sustain free secondary education. What about Kenya? Please don't live in false hope. I know those people didn't want me to come here so as to enlighten you, but I believe after me they shall be here to corrupt your minds, but I want to prepare you before they come. Please don't agree to whatever they'll say. They are only misusing you. Your resources benefiting themselves. There is no free secondary education. It is a myth, and I repeat, it is a myth that we will never come to achieve for many reasons, and I bet you want to know those reasons. I can tell you, hold on your horses, they're still coming. Thank you. First opposer, you have three minutes to make a statement. As the wise say, ignorance is a vice that cannot be eradicated. As we were young, we used to use pencils. We could easily erase it. Now we use pens. Can we really erase it? No. To the proposers, you say that there is no way that we can have our development project concerning education. Then why are these officials being given a mandate to take care of these people in county governance? That's why they're working towards these goals. What do we mean by free? It means not to be attached, according to English Oxford Dictionary. Myth is a traditional story embossing a belief depending on the facts. My name is Hilda Chisaina from Anesta Premier High School, ready to oppose the motion, free secondary education is a myth that cannot be achieved. Government investments. On May 6, 2017, our president, Uhuru Migai Kenyatta, said that the government is sending five billion to many public schools for their infrastructures. This is 100% transition from, from students from early childhood to Form 4. The Institute of Economic Affairs CEO Kwame Owino implemented, he said, free, free education, secondary education, is not, only, it's not only about how you're going to waste money all through, it's just part of how they're going to use their money through late 
tuitions, money, the money that you're going to collect through is usually through tuitions and salaries. So the teachers are being taken care of and also, it doesn't, it, it also only brings about, so there's no many, a lot of money is going to be used. The Ministry of Education has also set up an organization, like the Wings to Fly, for example. Last year, you saw those, the, the people who got good grades out of that. This gives equal chances to the students to be able to achieve their goals. Former Minister for Education, Fred Matiang. He said the goal of the government is to send 2.95 billion to public schools for, for, any, for their infrastructures and how they're going to help them out. You see how the government are working? So I can say the free secondary education is a myth that cannot be achieved, of which is I really oppose. Develop a passion for learning. If you do, you'll never cease to grow. Second proposal, you have three minutes for cross-examination. Action, speak louder than words. The name is Christine Mwende from Kimani Gonjiri High School. I would like to oppose my opponent right here by saying that President Kenyatta gave out 500 million to implement on the school program. That's a lie because I can testify there's been no fund that has been allocated to high school students that can help them to improve on their secondary education. And also to another thing, you are saying that teachers have no, don't have to pay anything, and yet they are being asked to pay for their own development training, which they have is a mandatory to them to take, so that they can they can be aligned with this, with the <coughs> they can be aligned with the new secondary with the free with the new free secondary education. That's a lie because they have to pay. This is according to the new the Daily Nation, which was on first June, which says that teachers have to pay for their own development studying, and yet the World Bank had released 2.3 million to a cutter for that. And on to my first point. Free secondary education is a myth that can never be achieved. This is the reason why. We have very corrupt leaders in, us, in our government right now. We all attest to that. Lately, we have been having a scandal of NYS. This is a government officials. They have been taking money from the government officials, government funds using for their own benefit. And yet you're telling me that you can afford it to have a free secondary education, and yet we don't have money even to deal with our, with our own problems. And to my second point, we cannot have a free secondary education, and yet, <clears throat> and yet we have no, we have, we, we have not been able to construct schools which are, there are schools which have not been able to be constructed, which have not been finished. Schools don't have labs or even classrooms. Some students are studying outside uh, under the trees. This is, for example, in West Pokot, there are some students who are studying under a tree, and yet you, want, you are telling us we have physical education. First, I suggest, why don't we first build classes for these students, then we can start saying that we have a free secondary education. Second, free secondary education cannot be, is a myth that cannot, it, free secondary education is a myth can never be, is a myth that cannot, this is a myth that cannot be achieved. This is because we have poor managerial skills. Let's say, for example, I'm a principal, and the government just released a state saying that we have a free secondary education. The next morning, I found parents with their children leaning up in my office, wanting to enroll their children in high school students. How do you expect me as a principal to deal with that problem? 200 students to be enrolled in a school at once. That will cause a crisis on our <coughs> on the school resources that we have, which are already not enough. Thank you. Second opposer, you have three minutes for re-examination. Education is an essential element in economic development of a country. From the prestigious Anesta Premier High School, Sindhya Wamboi opposing the motion that states free secondary education is a myth that cannot be achieved. To the first proposal, I tend to wonder how the county government is related to education, yet it is the national government that is responsible for education. To the second, to the second proposal, 
uh, my fellow opposer said it's five billion, not 500 million. So, and, uh, so you should revisit your sources, maybe you'll find the facts. Another question, how is y NYS related to education? I can't really get the point. According to the Oxford Dictionary, 8th edition, it states that a myth is a common misconception. It's a false belief. On to my first point, taxation. What is taxation? What do we mean by the term taxation? Well, taxation is the deduction of a certain percentage of a person's income to the government. Each month, Kenyans are taxed through PAYE, known as pay as you earn. The money collected can be used to cater for our education for, st for secondary students. Uh, by doing this, uh, students from poor background will get equal opportunities of securing their future. They'll be able to learn like other students who, whose parents are well off. This will also improve our economy greatly. Since people will be learned, it will also mean there will be reduction in street children and families. According to the standard, on 30th August 2017, at 12.47 a.m., a report by Augustine Odor said that the government has realized a part of 8.9 billion free education money as school reopened. This is evident. This is evident because secondary day schools do not pay school fees. You can agree that our country is finally doing it. This is a long journey, this is a long journey, sorry. This is a long journey, but each journey starts with a step, and I believe our country is starting to take that step. Therefore, providing education ensures that at least the future generation can step into the, do, be, uh, can step on doors of better living. Through, uh, through, through free education, Intelligence and talents, you know, intelligence and talents do not only belong to the wealthy people. They, the, the poor are given equal chances to expose their talents. In conclusion, Albert Einstein once said that education is what remains after one has forgotten what he has learned in school. Thank you. The proposers have been asked, would they rather have a developed country that has an illiterate population or have an underdeveloped country that has a literate population? The opposers have been asked, apart from pay as you earn, where does the government expect to get money with all the cases of corruption that we see today? Proposer number three, you have three minutes to answer the question. I love first to start by answering the question that you have received from the audience. The, the question is, do we rather have developed country with literate people or undeveloped country with illiterate people? My answer is, there are no illiterate people. People, we all have talent. My, mama, my mom once told me, we are not illiterate. We all, we can use the talent that we have to develop our nation. So the misconception that we have illiterate people we don't have irritated people in our country. <laughs> Name Hanan Joki from Kemani Gonjiri High School. Strongly to, to propose the motion that say free secondary education is a myth that can never be achieved. First and foremost, I would like to say the free secondary education is a myth that can never be achieved because we don't have we lack in, we don't have an adequate, adequate facility. We don't have enough teachers. For instance, go take an example of a school that has four streams, and, and we have an English teacher where she gives a composition, and the teacher has to mark that composition for crying out loud. That teacher, he or she, she's a human being. She'll be over, she'll be, She'll be tired and she will not be able to deliver well. So why don't we first why don't you first take employ enough teachers before we offer free secondary education first? 
Another issue, we don't have enough test books. The government had promised that they will deliver government test books. So far in our school, we have, already, we have just received the Form 1 test books. Well, the Form 2s, the Form 3s, and the Form 4s, we have not yet seen the government books. They have not yet been delivered to our school. Why they say free secondary education? Well, we, I still find myself asking, for my, asking my dad for money to buy my set books. Well, free secondary education. I should find the test set books in, the, in school. My work is just to go learn and listen and be able to capture what the teacher is saying. Let us fast. Let us fast. The government first, let, that, let it buy for us those test books so that it can be able to implement the free, secondary edu the free secondary education. Because this is just a mere mile. It, can never, it will never be possible in this country of Kenya. For my opposers, I would like just to tell you, if you can't fight them, join them, or yet leave the stage for the winning team. That opposer, you have three minutes to answer the question. The late Nelson Mandela once quoted and said that, education is the most important change to change the world. I would first of all like to enlighten my educated fella who asked a question about other sources of income. I would like to tell you this. Currently, our prisons are already overstocking. What do I mean? Our prisons are full. This, is, this now leads to the situation where the government earns fines from lawbreakers. Convinced? I hope you are. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the Oxford English Dictionary 8th edition, free is, defi is defined as a term unconstrained, whereas myth is the imagination whose existence is not verifiable. It is very funny, very funny indeed, that we have